Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning into the episode of The Wonder King Show. Today's first topic Raven fans really, really irk me. Look. Now, this isn't for all Raven fans. This is not for all Raven fans. This is for a certain. A certain section of the Ravens flock. And they really bother me. Like, irk me some, right? So, let me tell you what I'm talking about. And I think some of y'all know where I'm going to go with this. But we're still going to trot down that little, you know, yellow brick road. So, check this out. Just the other day, the Browns played the Jets. Okay? Which made the Browns go 11-5 and five on the season. You understand where I'm coming from? Okay. With that being said, the quarterback of the Browns, who is the former Super Bowl MVP of the Ravens, Joe Siflacco, <laughs> threw 19 of 29, 309 yards, three passing touchdowns, one interception. And great game he played. They beat them, I want to say, here it goes, 37 to 20. Kick their butts. They did to them what we did to uh, 49ers. <laughs> Here's where my problem starts. We don't want the Browns to win. We shouldn't want the Browns to win. There's no way where we should be looking at the Browns being like, yes, they got another W. <laughs> There's a certain faction in the Ravens flock that when they won that game, this was their reaction. Thank you, Joe. You'll always be our quarterback. They should have never switched you out. I hate Dog Collins. You know, listen, everybody knows who I'm talking about. And if you're doing those things, I'm talking about you. <laughs> And you're sitting there like, I'm sitting there like, yo, hey, yo, y'all serious? We're not talking about Joe Flacco on the Jets. We're not talking about Joe Flacco in the NFC. We are talking about a Joe Flacco that is in the AFC North on the Cleveland Browns. That is literally behind us. The Browns can end up with the second best record in the AFC. And y'all are sitting there saying, yes, thank God, JoJo. Oh, JoJo, hit him with that flow, Joe. Y'all sitting there room for the Browns? Oh, have y'all no shame? No decadency? No decency? No pride? Bro. I'm si listen, and y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all better not say, oh, Nitro. It's not really a lot of us. It's a small version. No, they're not. Because they've been defending themselves all over Twitter. You're welcome, Browns, for the greatest quarterback in Ravens history. Oh, we should have never let go of Joe Flacco. Look how great he looks. Look how great he is. And I'm sitting there like, don't they realize that the Ravens are still the Ravens? Don't they realize we have a former MVP on his going on his way to a second MVP on this team? Don't they realize that the Browns, if they went out and if we dropped these two games, would usurp us for the I'm not if I'm not mistaken, the number one seed in the AFC? And they're sitting there saying, Oh yes, praise the Lord. There goes JoJo. That's a problem. That's a big problem. A massive problem. It's deplorable. Listen, <clears throat> if you saw him on the Jets and he was doing okay, you're like, ah, I remember Joe, that was our quarterback. I hope him the best, man. That's one thing. You are actively rooting for his success for a division rival. Mind you, everybody that watches this show I told everybody, what did I say? I said, the Browns will be the second best team in the AFC North. I picked them winning 11 to 12 games. 
And everybody that watches this show, you know, you can cooperate it. You can go, and matter of fact, it's documented. You can go back through the videos and watch it. I said this. I said the Bengals will be the last in the AFC North this season. And now look. Listen, I'm not, and, and y'all better not twist these words and be like, oh, it's because Nitro's scared. And No, I'm not scared of nobody. I ain't scared of nobody. I think the, Ra the Ravens just beat the 49ers. Blew them out. You think I'm scared of the Browns? What I'm saying is the principle. It's the principle behind it. They are, they are right now our division rivals. They have a top three uh, record in the AFC right now. Matter of fact, let me make sure I'm not lying, right? Just so y'all can't be like, nah, Nitro, you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? No, they don't. They don't really have that, right? Let's look at the standings. <laughs> because then that's what you need to do, right? Check. Yeah. Look at this. So the Ravens are 12 and 3. The Browns are 11 and 5. The only other team that has 11 wins are the Dolphins. They're 11 and 4. So like I said, the Browns have the third best, uh, the third best record. My bad. So not the second, but the third best record in the AFC. And if the and if the and if the the Ravens beat the Dolphins, they'll have the second best seed in the AFC. Look at this. The Chiefs don't even got ten wins yet. There is one, two, three, three teams that have ten wins right now or more, and that's the Dolphins, Ravens, and Browns. The Bills got nine. Chiefs got nine. Jaguars got eight, Colts got eight, Texans got eight, Steelers got eight, Bengals got eight. Yo, everybody getting eight. Pause. Look, I'm not telling y'all how to be fans. What I'm saying is I have never seen another team of a division rival root for that team simply because the former player is on that team. What bro? And and that's my problem. Like, come on now, bro. Like, I listen, I work with a Browns fan. He has a big Browns um Browns uh, uh logo on his um office. And uh he knows I'm a Raven fan. He said, Yo, man, uh, what do you think about this Joe Flacco thing? I said, Joe Flacco's gonna do very well on your team. And he's like, You serious? I said, Yeah, he's gonna surprise a lot of people. And he and he asked me this. I'm gonna show you it's crazy. And he said, Why? I said, Listen, Joe Flacco. Is not going to be asked to save this team. He's going to be asked to put the ball into the running back's gut, and when he pulls it out, to make the proper read and down the field throw to his playmakers. That's it. They're not asking him to go out there and be Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen. He's going to do well on your team. And I remember when he was playing, every week he was like, bro, man, you were right. You know what I told him the last time? Oh, because we're all because I just been off work since Friday. And he goes, yo, uh, what's it called? Man, we won that last game and everything. I said, look, I'm not rooting for you guys. I want you to lose. I just knew that he would do well on your team. He was like, Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, no Raven fans supposed to root for no Browns fans. <laughs> he told me. He said, bro, no Ravens supposed to be rooting for no Browns. <laughs> I know you're rooting for us, but but I but you but you were right about him doing well on the team. That's what he said. But y'all out here with your pom poms going, chicka pom pom, chicka pom pom, chicka pom pom. Joe, Joe, if he's our man, if he can't do it, Lamar knows he can't. Go Joey, go Joey, go Joey, go Joey. J to the O to the E to the Y. J to the O to the E to the Y. Go Joey, go Joey, go Joey, go. I ain't saying no more. Stop. Stop doing that. Chee. Yo, I can't believe I'm part of a fan base that is out there singing. In adulation, singing with such joyous, jovial nature towards a quarterback that's in our division that could usurp us from being the number one seed. And guess what? Y'all are just like, ah. But he used to, he won a Super Bowl. Who cares? That's life. You think 49er fans was rooting for Joe Cool when he went to the Chiefs and they had Steve, uh, Steve Young? No, they were like, yo, retire that man. <laughs> Y'all over here be like, no, don't hurt Joe. Don't hurt Jay. Jay, 
Joe, Joey, JF, bro, man, it's ridiculous out here. But what do you guys think? Am I tripping? Is Nitro off his meds? <laughs> Come on now, you know I don't take meds. But still, am I tripping on this month? Or, or do you guys agree that Raiden fans should not be actively looking for him to succeed on Cleveland? Let me know what you think down in the comment section, all right? But as always, this is an episode of the Wonderkind Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You know, I love the comments. And if you haven't done so already, check out the Wonderkind Show's Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption. Give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. And if you would like to donate to this channel, help out with equipment and stuff like that, bottom of the screen is a QR code. QR codes to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Super easy. But once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nitro, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Hmm. Yeah.